Do you want to be able to afford the best players and open the best packs in FC24? Go to u7buy.com to buy your EAFC24 coins. It's more economic than buying FC points and just as reliable. They already offer some of the best prices out there, but you can get an additional 6% off using promo code ELI at checkout. All right, guys. I spent days, days figuring out these tactics for you guys. It is probably the best tactics in EAFC, and I am not trying to overhype them. I am not trying to oversell these. I am not trying to overpitch you in any way possible. These are the tactics that I have been using in Division 1. I am sandbagging getting into the Elite Division because I am dreading getting into the Elite Division to try to recreate tactics for you guys. Um, I'm trying to create some Arsenal Pass and Present, or not Arsenal Pass and Present, some Arsenal Tactics, some Man City Tactics. Those will probably be up today or tomorrow. Um, and I do not want to be in the Elite Division trying to recreate those because I cannot play. Um, it's, it's hard. It's just it's, just, it's difficult trying to figure out authentic tactics in the higher divisions when everybody's just playing super try hard super meta constant press borrow scoops borrow scoops travelas offside trapping is ridiculous so to counter that i've been using my arsenal past and present team uh plus his little renard uh, i had to switch it to anchor because shadow she was getting bullied off the ball it's the 4-3-2-1. These are the tactics that you guys are here for. I'm not going to ramble on for too long. I'll ramble on at the end uh, over authentic tactics. Let me just go over these tactics because this is what you guys are here for. No gameplay. Um, might post some gameplay later, but I do have some in the channel <clears throat> already using these tactics. But I changed a few things. This is post-team of the year. A lot of people have team of the years. A lot of people have team of the year Messi. A lot of people have team of the year Ronaldo. Um, a lot of people have team of the year R9. Believe it or not, over here, I don't know how and I don't know why. Um, so I had to switch it up. So I do make this defend in a 4-4-2, but I'll go over that in a little bit. Let's just go into the tactics. Uh, balance 37 with 60 depth. Now this is on old gen. New gen, up the width to 40, and the depth, you can leave it there at 60. 60 has been working well for me on both consoles. Uh, 63 if you want to be a little bit more aggressive, even up to 65 if you want to manually press yourself. Um, I wouldn't go anywhere higher than 67 this is if you want to actually press if you don't want to do the I, I see this is still overpowered the 71 depth um but if you do get caught trying to press your opponent they will over the top through ball you in the higher divisions and then they're going to score so that's why i had to lower this down 67 is really pushing it but you can really press aggressively with this uh on new gen but I recommend going around 63, 65 is a little too high, and 60 to be conservative. If you're on old gen, then 63 depth to be very, very aggressive, 60 to be slightly aggressive, and 57 to be more neutral, compact, 55 if you want to be really, really reserved. Um, but I recommend starting off with 60 on both and then kind of fine-tuning it to whatever you want to, or whatever your play style is, if that makes sense, with uh, either 37 or 40, depending on if you're in old gen or new gen. Build the play balance, direct passing, uh, gotta leave it as is, I tried different things, I even tried forward runs, but it doesn't work as well uh, on this tactic, so leave it as is. With 52, I upped it, I had it at 45, um, I upped it to 52, I went all the way up to 55, it made my midfielders be a little bit too far apart, so 52 width just makes them be a little bit wider than the neutral, which allows me to do travelas and do a lot of over the top through balls and a lot of finesse shots. Uh, and lets me have enough space to switch the play from one side to the other side because it's very important that you do this in this game especially when you're playing high division players because they're going to manually press you especially in the middle of the park it's going to be so congested so you have to be able to open up the space a little bit at least do one touch and then send a quick through ball over the top uh, whatever you need to do to just spread out the play players in the box five i lowered this i had it at seven then went to six then went to five then went to four and then i went back to five Five is just a good amount just to get your three forwards in the box and maybe one center mid joining in on the attack at the last minute to to hit those uh, quick cutbacks. Um, but that's about it. I wouldn't recommend changing anything else. Just leave it as is. Just trust me. These have been working for me. Um, and I'm probably going to use these for um, foot champs this weekend. Try to get rank one. Uh, this week, I didn't get rank one. I got 18 and two. So 
gotta improve that's why i'm making these meta tactics first and then i'll do authentic attack tactics after this corners and free kicks one and one players who you need where meta 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 center backs if you can go craft the salad buff for free craft them he is legit and i'm not saying that because i'm an arsenal supporter but he has been giving me troubles facing him and when i have him he's really good that little rocket raccoon playstyle that he has is so good uh at last minute or even early before your opponent gets the ball putting his foot in if that makes sense he just reads everything faster which is really really good that and jockey playstyle plus are like my favorite besides intercept plus for defenders uh so i do recommend crafting him if you can uh and then probably putting van dyke next to him or blanc either or but doing doing like that that would be a perfect center bar center back partnership uh right back he doesn't need to attack too much he just needs to be able to defend maybe attack a little bit like not go super high high up just uh enough to where he can pass the ball well if you get kafu kafu is perfect if you want to do kafu or Kyle walker he'll be fine um Klaus is really good as well. Can kind of go forward, defend, uh, do incisive passes over the top, through balls, stuff like that. You just need a good right back. Left back, Kai Havertz. Make sure you get a really, really good left back because I, I like to attack with my left back. Uh, if you can use a whip cross play style, even better. Uh, players that can are very good at dribbling with the ball. I play with Kai Havertz. I use Roberto Carlos. Players like that, Bacha, um, Karchawi. Players like that that can go forward. Oh, Bombasta will be perfect as well. They can go forward, defend. You know who to play there. Uh, CDM, put a CDM player here. A uh, Patrick Vieira, an N'Golo Kante. Um, who else is a good medium high? Is is Joshua Kimmich medium high? Put somebody there that's a CDM that can actually defend, that can uh, steal the ball and let go of the ball really, really fast. That new Guendouzi card will be really good. I was thinking about picking him up, trying him out. Uh, but put a medium high work rated player here. Um, and then two box to box center mids or one winger on the sides. So your center center mid will be your more defensive minded player, and your left center mid will be uh, more of a winger type of player. I don't want to say this. I play. Look, this is what I recommend playing. If you can go get Zico, get Zico, play him on the right side um, or on the left side, either or. If you can get uh, Frankie the Jong, put him in the put him in the game, put him in the field put Sawa or Bruno Fernandes right here in the midfield. It doesn't matter where. Just make sure you put one CDM and then put two box-to-box -box center mids next to them. Just do that. Just listen. Don't overcomplicate it. Once you get better, then you can put a winger there. But put Bruno Fernandes, uh, put Sawa, players that you can craft, uh, SBCs that are very, very, very good. Use those players here. Um, your right forward will drop deep and make a 4-4-2, uh, so he'll be a right mid. So put a high, high work rated player there. I have Martinelli. He's high, high. Put a winger there that can attack, that can defend, that can do Travella's uh, technical plus play style, anything. Anything that will get give you the edge, use here. Uh, left forward will be a left striker, so they're actually going to stay forward. So try to put a left footed player here. Um, if they're good at dribbling, whatever, you know who to put here as your striker. You can put Eusebio here, Mbappe, whoever, and then a main target man striker. Same thing, Mbappe, Eusebio, uh, Cruyff, um, who else? That new Carlos Tevez will be really good. Players like that that are good, at, that are lethal strikers, lethal, lethal strikers. Sorry, I had to rant on players who to wear, who you, who to use where because I've been going at it in the elite division or in the division one right now, trying to prevent going to the elite division. I have to give away those those wins sometimes. Uh, goalies or goalie comes across the sweeper keeper. Both center backs stay back while attacking. Right backs stay back overlap, so they won't join in on the attack too much. They will defend, uh, but with the overlap instruction, they will give some passing options. Whenever you are stuck and you need to recycle the ball, they will come to feet to be able to recycle the ball from your right forward side, from the right winger side. They'll get the ball, recycle, and start over. Um, so they'll give you some attacking support. Your main fullback will be balanced overlap, the one that will be joining on the attack. So whip cross, all that good stuff. Uh, use it as your left back. Your CDM will be stay back while attacking cover center. That is it. Your left center mid or whoever. If you're going to attack with the left back, then use it on this side. If you're going to attack with your right back, then flip flop these uh, instructions. But put stay back while attacking cover wing. Cover wing so it actually covers for the left back attacking. And stay back so they actually stay back. Um, 
right mid is going to be balance everything cover center so this guy will defend in a 442 he'll be the center mid this is why i'm saying put center mids here so it doesn't matter who else is going to play center mid as long as they have some good defensive stats here um but i put iwobi here and he has an amazing travella so that's why i have him here uh right forward is going to be come back on defense that is it so he can drop deep defend in a 442 main striker stay central that is it just leave it as is and then your left striker just leave it as is i had him on getting behind at one point if you guys that's it for the tactics if you guys are going to stay tuned for me or ramble on for like another maybe three minutes or so then stay tuned i had getting behind instructions on these two to kind of bomb forward but they were running too far away from me right now in the higher divisions and i just felt like i needed to have a little bit more control over the players i did have balance balance on these tactics but when i had that people keep playing offside traps like just offside traps offside traps offside traps and so i had to start switching it up and playing direct passing so with the direct passing tactic one of my three forwards will actually push my opponent's defensive line back and then i can play to feet and then i can do one twos i can do a roulette into a shot croqueta into a shot quick one twos whatever i need to do uh, but i had to switch it up so now they're all balanced but because i'm letting the direct passing tactic do the work for me um what else did i change that's about it Everything else is pretty much similar except for I switched the cover wing, the defensive style, just because it helps out a little bit more if I do it this way. So I don't make it as attacking since I have the direct passing tactic. Uh, but yeah, those are basically it. Um, what was I going to ramble on about? Oh, yeah, before I let you guys go, um, I am working on Arsenal tactics, um, the 4 3 3 fifth variation, the false nine variation. I am working on Pep's tactics. Uh, Man City tactics. What are they? The 4213 updated ones. So I'm going to be doing two authentic tactics a week and then maybe three meta tactics a week. So five tactics in total. Hopefully, I've been grinding, guys. I've been grinding. Uh, I don't even have time to do SBCs. I'm just literally just grinding out gameplay, just trying to get you guys the best um, tactics that i possibly can get so hopefully i can get five of these out this week have a few written down but let me know down below what other tactics you guys want me to work on for next week i'm gonna work on uh liverpool uh who else i'm work on chelsea conte or Conte's chelsea and i'm work on inter milan as well in the next few days um i just gotta need, some, need a little bit of time but all right guys i'll catch you guys on the next one won't ramble on too much uh let me know down below if you guys packed anything crazy for team of the year Peace.